Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Recently, we had the chance to test drive the 2021 Jeep Wrangler 4xe plug-in hybrid. So it's here in the garage, so we can do a deep dive under the hood and talk about all the components that make it special, talk a little bit about how it works, and give you a tour of all the maintenance service points. When you lift the hood of the 2021 Wrangler 4xe, it doesn't look a lot different at first glance than one with a standard 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine. In fact, the engine itself is essentially the same. The 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder puts out 270 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. You can see the turbocharger itself mounted high on the driver's side of the engine and features an electronically controlled wastegate. Intake air travels over the top of the engine to an air-to-water intercooler on the passenger side before entering the combustion chambers. Built around the gasoline engine is a 400-volt plug-in hybrid system comprised of two electric motor generators and a large lithium-ion battery pack, all putting power to four wheels through a traditional automatic transmission, full-time two-speed transfer case, and solid front and rear axles. It all starts with an engine-mounted, belt-driven motor generator with 44 horsepower that replaces the 12-volt alternator and starter. Its primary purpose is to start the engine and generate electricity. The only other belt-driven accessory is the water pump. The AC compressor mounted to the engine is electrically powered. Primary electric motive power comes from the powerful electric motor generator mounted in place of the traditional transmission torque converter. That has 134 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque. Behind that is an 8-speed automatic transmission. The engine is connected to the electric motor with a binary on-off clutch that allows it to shut off while the electric motor powers the vehicle or for the engine to idle and run on its own independently of the vehicle speed. Another clutch connects the electric motor to the transmission but is variable and allows for a more refined transition of power like a torque converter would provide. All in, the gasoline engine and electric motor together can provide up to 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. Battery power comes from a sizable 17 kilowatt hour, 96 cell lithium ion battery pack located inside the passenger compartment under the rear seat. Fully encased, the battery pack has its own heating and cooling system to keep the battery at its best operating temperature. It has a built-in heater unit and a cooling system that uses the vehicle's air conditioning refrigerant. A substantial combination power unit with battery charger, power converter, and a power inverter are packaged beneath the floorboard on the driver's side in a substantial steel structure to keep it protected. And yes, it's fully waterproof to continue to give you a 30-inch deep water fording capability. You can plug it in with a port located on the driver's side fender, charging in about 2 hours on a level 2 charger and 12 hours on a level 1 110 volt household power outlet. A full battery can power the Wrangler 4xe for 20 to 30 miles for electric power only operation, at which point it continues to operate as a traditional hybrid vehicle, motivating you with both gasoline and electric power. Looking around under the hood, you can see that the 12 volt battery still exists to run the accessories, the vehicle computer systems, and the lighting. It's charged by the belt driven motor generator. And when it comes to servicing the Wrangler 4xe, it's not much different than a traditional gas-powered model. The oil filler cap is located atop of the engine at the front where you'd expect to find it. The oil check dipstick with its yellow handle is off to the passenger side of the engine. Replacing the oil filter is down below as usual. The main fuse panel is located at the passenger side rear of the engine compartment just behind the 12-volt battery and is easily accessed. Just ahead of the battery is the reservoir for power steering fluid. Ahead of that is the filter box where accessing the filter element itself does require the removal of a few bolts. On the driver's side, you'll find at the firewall the main engine coolant reservoir and to its right, the brake fluid reservoir. Here, you'll note that the Wrangler 4xe uses an electronically controlled brake system in lieu of the traditional booster and master cylinder. Coming forward, there are three caps to know. At the very front is the coolant reservoir for the turbocharger intercooler and power electronics cooling circuit. Just behind that is the windshield washer fluid reservoir, and rearward of that is the coolant reservoir for the hybrid battery pack itself. There you go. It's not as difficult as it might seem. Yes, there are a few extra components under there, but if you're working on this changing oil and filter and doing all those sorts of things, it's just like any other Jeep. And as I discovered when I was out there off-roading and driving it around, it drives pretty much like any other Jeep. It's got the traditional axles, traditional transmission, transfer case, all that. 
it gives up nothing in terms of capability just because we're a plug-in hybrid. But there you go. If you'd like to see our test drive on this vehicle, you can see that right there. Or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned.